Okay, that is a live shot of Kabul Airport. It's early evening over there. And you're looking at it, and we have now confirmed, Fox has confirmed, it was a suicide bombing outside the Abbey Gate at Kabul's airport. All right, come on in. Trey Yinks, he's in Qatar with the late breaking details on this. Trey. Stuart, good morning. This breaking just now. Three U.S. service members have been wounded in this explosion, according to officials speaking with Fox's Lucas Tomlinson. Earlier this hour, there was an explosion at the airport in Kabul. A number of people wounded, according to eyewitnesses. This is the exact situation that British and American officials warned about over the past 48 hours. We saw intelligence reports indicating that there could be an attack by a group called ISIS-K. The K stands for Khorasan, Khorasan province in eastern Afghanistan. This is a very small terrorist organization in Afghanistan, an offshoot of the Islamic State that started back around 2014. And they were responsible for a number of attacks against Afghan and Pakistani civilians over the past several years. But this was the group that American officials were worried about, and they were worried they would specifically target the airport as thousands of evacuees tried to flee the country. Now, the images that we've seen over the past 24 hours from on the ground in Kabul indicate the area they were targeting with this suicide attack would have been heavily populated. We were on the ground in Kabul on Sunday, and we saw how orderly it was inside the airport gates. American troops and other foreign troops were able to evacuate people that could make it into the compound and onto C-17 military planes. Just over the walls of the airport, though, complete chaos as American forces basically tried to draw a line between their soldiers and the Taliban to allow as many civilians who had the correct, correct paperwork to make their way through and onto evacuation planes. So very concerning reports out of the ground on in Afghanistan. But again, the latest information that we have, according to eyewitnesses, several people injured in what appears to be a suicide bombing outside of the airport in Kabul, Afghanistan. Stuart. Trey Yinks, we hear you. Thanks very much, Trey. I want to bring